It's a food, not a threat. Come on. Feed it, time. Feed it, time. Feed it, time. Uh, feed it, time. Oh yeah, in case you didn't figure it out, we are going to feed some tarantulas. And not just any tarantulas, in this video we are going to feature only African tarantulas. So tarantulas from genus Pterinohilus, Ceratogirus, Harpactira, although I only have one Harpactira and that is a male Harpactira pulchripes. But it's something at least. And in this video I will feature all sizes of tarantulas, so from tiny slings to adult females. But even with all slings I don't have a lot African tarantulas and just three females, which is really really low, but at least the video won't be too long. And we will start from the smallest and then move into bigger tarantulas, but know that I probably won't be able to feed all of them, because some like Stromatopelma calciatum, for example, she's always buried somewhere and I rarely see her, so really low chance to get a feeding on the camera. We will see how it goes. Let's begin, shall we? First one on the list will be a tiny baby Ceratogirus marshali. You see? I will take another enclosure so I can put it on top. Now we can have a kind of better look. Mm, although it is a bit too close now. I need different enclosure. There, this will be better now. I will try to lure it first with the roach, even though I have no idea where the tarantula actually is. Hmm. I can. Oh, I actually see one leg. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit more. Come on, come on. Juicy roach awaits. Come and grab it. So close. Oh, yeah. Got it. <laughs> I thought this won't work, but it did! Great! We can move into next next sling and it is Ceratogirus darlingi. So another Ceratogirus and you can even see the tarantula down there. Are you maybe hungry? Hmm? <laughs> what? What is this? Do you want it or not? Oh no! Maybe she's in a pre-mold and, and that's why she didn't grab the roach. Although... What is happening? Will you get it or not? Make up your mind. She is not sure. Perhaps a primal, so I will put it aside and check later if she actually grabbed the roach or not. And if not, I will remove the roach because then it's definitely in the primal. I will need a smaller enclosure. This will work better. This one is Ceratogirus sanderi. Oh, we saw it for a brief period. Looks like this will be a good takedown. Because you can... Oh, no, no, no. Ooh. Oh my god! Roach parts left on the tweezers. Oops. She grabbed it so fiercely. She split the roach on half. Crazy. That was unexpected strength for a tarantula of that size. Next one, Pelinobius muticus, the king baboon. Although this one, or is the other one? I have one that is bigger, and one of them is in the primal, I think. But you can clearly see it down in the burrow. Let's drop the roach. Boop. Ah, uh, yeah. This one. Oh no! It got it! It actually got it! Just as I wanted to say that it is in a pre -mold, it grabbed the roach. Sweet! Now we are moving into a slightly bigger ones, and I will actually take the Pelinobius muticus, the bigger one. The bigger specimen. And I believe that this is a female. You see her down there? Let's check if she is still refusing food. Ah, going deeper. No! I will drop roach behind her. What happened? I haven't seen. Oh, oh no, she actually grabbed the roach. Sweet! Even though I would prefer that she's in a pre molt and that she molts, I would prefer that, but okay, at least we get a nice, nice takedown. Moving on, we have another Ceratogirus marshali and Ceratogirus darlingi, but these are slightly bigger. Mm, you can see the leg down there. Hello, hello. Oh. <laughs> well, that was quick. You can see the tarantula down there, but yeah, I think the roach fell or she just pulled it so fast. I, I didn't, I didn't saw what happened. I have no idea. The roach just disappeared. Ceratogirus darlingi and once again we have just one leg appearing down there, you see? Maybe I can get it better this time. Whoa, 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 whoa. She's eager to get it. Here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go, let go, let go. Let go the tweezer, you got it. You got the roach. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh. Ah. Damn, I was hoping that she will stop and we will get a closer look, but I guess that is too much to ask. 
Now one Diotele Mira. She's the one that made the trapdoor. Can you spot it? Here is the actual trapdoor. It's not as functional as it used to be. Maybe on this side. Oh no, she closed it. She closed her burrows. What is this? So since she did that, I won't be feeding her. She definitely doesn't want that. When I see that tarantula closed off her burrow, I usually just don't feed it and most of the time tarantula will just molt after a, a, some period of time. This will be a fun one. Terinohilus murinus. And it is down there, you can see the... Uh, chill man, chill man. It is eager to get something for dinner, whoa! You had opportunity to see it nicely. Hey, where are you now? There is a roach in your garden. No, no. Oh, I think you missed that. She grabbed it when it fell down. Here you can see it. OBT, orange body thing. Or orange baboon tarantula. But I prefer the orange body thing. Now we are done with these enclosures, but we have one in this slightly slower and maybe you can guess which one is inside. Because it is the craziest. It is another Pterinohilus murinus, but it is different color form. What? Hello. <laughs> this is a welcome party. <laughs> oh, the usual behavior. This is the usual behavior, you know. Just the standard, standard Pterinohilus murinus behavior. But I definitely noticed that this one is more defensive than my other two. Terinoculus murinus, the normal color forms. But this one is way more defensive. It is always in threat posture. Let's give it a ro Okay, come on. Calm down, <laughs> as someone would say. Dropping the roach. <laughs> it's a food, not a threat. Come on. Why you have to be mad? I'm just trying to feed you. It's for your own good. Jesus. Are you not hungry? Can you not feel the roach struggling beneath you? <laughs> Why you have to be so crazy? Come on! So you don't want that roach? Should I remove it? How to remove a roach that is being in front of this highly, highly defensive tarantula? Thank you, but I will not take my chances. You can take the roach and do whatever you want with it. Even if you don't eat it. I don't care. And I definitely need to put her in bigger enclosures so she can be a bit more chilled inside. Maybe that's your protest, right? Give me bigger enclosure! <laughs> I don't know. Now please, I am trying to close your enclosure. Oh, yes! You don't need to be so dramatic about it. And this is another Trinoholus murinus, a red color form. Did I said normal color form for, for the other one? I think that the correct term is red color form. The normal color form is the brownish one. I don't remember anymore, sorry. It is funny how it's called a red color form and it is orange. Why it's not orange color form? Who gave that name? I want to talk to a responsible person. Regarding this OBT, it is rarely and I mean rarely, rarely outside. You know that we only have maybe one or two feeding clips with this, with this girl and I tried to feed her in many, many feeding videos. So I won't be doing that in this one. I cannot even see her. But soon you can expect a rehouse video in so that enclosure. Can I just increase the... Yes, in that enclosure. That is the same size as this one. So they can be together and that will be the opportunity to actually see how it is. It got something funny with its leg. Ever since she was a sling, she was dragging one leg and I don't know why I was... I thought that after a molt it will get better, but no, it just persists. Camera stopped and I'm not sure when. Hmm. So the situation persists and I don't know if I can do anything about it. I was thinking about pulling her leg off, then she would regrow that leg and it should be normal, but pulling a leg from an OBT, it just sounds like a bad, bad, bad idea. This is the Harpactira pull press male that I was talking about and you see he's also eager to be fed. <laughs> so let's not keep him waiting. Roachy roach. Oh yeah. He always got reactions like that. Just crazy fast reactions. Yeah, I'm talking about you. How about a little happy dance? What do you say about that? We would really enjoy that. Maybe next time. This one we rehoused in 
last rehouse video actually last video and the last video was a rehouse video <laughs> in case you haven't seen it this is Harpaktira Giga Smell and his last enclosure got moldy so I was forced to rehouse him let's see if he's hungry show us what you got Whoa. yeah <laughs> there we go there we go sweet takedown <laughs> are you up for a uh, happy dance maybe yeah no yes no why I don't want to do a happy dance for us it's not that hard, all tarantulas know how to do it. I know that you know how to do it. You'll probably do it later. You want to sit now? I don't think so. Okay, last two. Terinochilus hordatus. Sweet, sweet, sweet tarantula. I really like the looks on this one. So the same genus as OBT, but you see it is not webbing that much and it is never inside of this cork bark. It never tries to dig or anything, just stands there and webs the surface. That's all. Completely different from other Pterinochilus. Other Pterinochilus tarantulas. Here is a roach, although you are kind of fat. Toop, 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 toop. Yo! Yeah <laughs> you almost flipped. <laughs> that would be hilarious. In last feeding video where I featured her, I think that she did a happy dance. Maybe in this one? Mm-hmm. You can see the booty moving. Yeah, definitely. She always does the happy dance. <laughs> Such a cool species and so different, so much different from the other, from the same genus. Although she does a happy dance moving around. You see, she's webbing, but not on the same spot like other tarantulas. You just need to be different, right? Look, 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 look. I always get such a good shots with her. She's awesome. Definitely awesome. If you don't have this species and you like African tarantulas, definitely get this one. You will not regret it. And the last one, another Pterinochilus. This one is Pterinochilus lugardi. You can see that she never did a trapdoor as I was hoping. She just webs the entrance and that is basically it. Not happy that I removed that webbing. <laughs> Maybe we can lure her. Oh yeah. I will give you one roach now. Be ready. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Wrong way. Wrong way, roach. Wrong way, roach. No. Where are you going? You need to go here. Oh, ah. Oh, damn, it was out of focus. But the tarantula is still struggling. And the roach is finished. <laughs> that was it. She got it. And we actually managed to feed most of tarantulas. Oh no, I didn't feature Stromatopelma calceatum. How did I forget about you, little fella? When I said that I probably won't be able to show it, I just put it on the side and forgot about it. Sorry, sorry. She is somewhere there. Inside of this hole or maybe in this hole somewhere and I don't know where. I usually just dump the roach down and see if, if there will be any movement. So let's do it now and maybe we will see something. Dropping roach. Boop. But I don't see any movement. Just the movement of the roach. Nothing else. It seems that we will end it like this. Oh yeah! Look! There is a one leg. Oh my god, and the leg is gone, <laughs> but at least it was something, it was something, not a total failure of a clip. That was everything, I hope you liked my African tarantulas, and if you did, thumbs up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page, if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, I upload every Monday and Friday, so see you again soon, bye!